Hello everyone, it is so awesome here with another video. Now, I was originally supposed to see this movie with the boys, but you know, since we all saw the original one together when it came out, but uh, since Ethan wanted us to see Gretel and Hansel, we uh, ended up seeing that instead. Plus, I mean, if we were going to see Jumanji 2, we would have to sit in the front of the theater, so whatever. But you already know my feelings on Gretel and Hansel, so we really don't need to go back there. And to make this video even more of an anomaly, I was actually supposed to put out an Apex Legends video, but since the audio got messed up, uh, I kind of just scrapped the idea. But I would like to make another Apex video somewhere along the line, like I am actually having a lot of fun with it recently, and it seems like a lot of people are getting back into it too. But uh, that is not the reason for today's video, because today we will finally be reviewing Jumanji 2. Uh, Personally, I don't really have much to say about this movie, but what I do have to say is pretty positive, so you know, you know guys, let's just jump into it. <laughs> let's just jump in, guys. Um, anyway, to begin with, Danny DeVito and Danny Glover were really funny in this movie, and I love the energy they had together and how they played off of each other. That definitely elevated the movie, and the original cast from the first movie was really good too, especially The Rock and Kevin Hart. They looked like they had such a great time making this movie, honestly, and overall, the cast seemed like they were having such a good time. They seemed like they were really enjoying themselves, which is always really good. Now, I was a little worried going into this movie since they only came out two years from each other. And, um, but it actually was just about as good as the first one, I would say, personally. Although, I'm not sure how the CGI was in the first movie, but the CGI in this movie, I wouldn't say was bad, but it definitely wasn't good either. It, it definitely was still watchable. Now, the story was really fun as well. Personally, I feel like there was more tension in the first movie surrounding their whole lives dilemma. But I wouldn't say it was totally gone from this movie, but this film brings even more action-packed adventure scenes that we have grown to love, along with even more jokes and bits. I would say a good majority of the jokes landed, and I was actually laughing out loud at a few too. And while in the first movie the bits seemed a little bit more grounded, in this movie they seem to be a little bit more creative with it. I mean, one of the characters was a horse, so... Um, overall, though, this movie is more of what we loved from the first one, and with, but with that, don't really ever expect a dull moment. It always seems like there's something going on, or something is being set in motion, so it feels like a non-stop roller coaster. A roller coaster which is heightened by a great li by great line delivery and charisma given by the actors. And sometimes, I just want to shut off my brain and enjoy a charismatic roller coaster. Okay, I mean, if you're looking for a deep story, then I suggest you look at other places. But if you want a fun movie to watch with your family, a friend, a significant other if you're super lucky, or maybe even just yourself, then I think this movie is for you. Overall, it gets a 7 out of 10. It was fun. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, then honestly, you're the best. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe hit that like and subscribe button. I don't know. I can't really force you to do anything. It really helps though, so please do if you enjoyed <laughs> and um also i haven't mentioned this in a while but i do have an instagram account i usually just post like when videos come out or ask for your opinions or suggestions so if you're interested go and check that out it, uh, it'll i'll have a link in below um but as always stay awesome too awesome thanks for watching